In this video, we're going to learn how to recognize a polar graph and sketch it quickly. So I wrote down like all the uh, different types of graphs we found so far, excluding the spiral since it is just plugging in points and there's no necessary like pattern to follow to graph it. And also the ones that are just rewrite this from polar form to rectangular form. Uh, if you ever can uh, convert from uh, polar to rectangular easily, that's usually the way to go about graphing these. On the graphing those, but for the rest of these that aren't so easy just to convert from uh, polar to rectangular, like these three examples, here is a nice way to sketch it quickly. So first, try to recognize the graph. So here I have r is equal to 2 plus 2 cosine theta. So I see addition, and now I'm going to compare the two numbers. So they're both the same, so I know I'm dealing with a cardioid. That's the general shape. So knowing that, I don't need many points to help me graph that pictures. What I'll do is I'll just pick five key points on the domain of cosine, which is 0 to 2 pi. And then I'll pick the spot in the middle of those two, and then in between those two as well. So 0, pi over 2 pi, and 3 pi over 2. And I'll find out where these points are located, and then using that information, I'll try to sketch out the cardioid, however it's shaped, whichever orientation, based on those points. So here, if I plug in 0, I get 2 plus 2 times cosine of 0, which is 1, giving me 4. So I have a point at angle 0 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I have another point over here at pi over 2, at 2 plus 2 times cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. So 2 plus 0, which is 2. So I'll put 1, 2. And then cosine of pi is negative 1, so 2 plus 2 times negative 1 should give me 0. So I'll have a point at 0 there. And then 2 plus 2 times cosine of 3 pi over 2, which is 0. So 2 plus 0, which is 2. So 3 pi over 2 is 2. And then 2 pi will be 2 plus 2 times cosine of 2 pi, which is 1 giving me 4, which will end up at 4 again. And then I'll repeat those same values over and over again because cosine is a periodic function. So when I go to graph this, I'm going to keep in mind my cardioid, which usually has this little dip at the pole. So it looks like if I start at this point, I'm going to curve around when I go over the pi over 2. And then it'll dip down and hit that spot right there, then bend back outwards go back up and create that cardioid shape. And that's my cardioid. It's a quick way to sketch it. Won't always look as pretty as the ones we saw in the previous lesson because we're doing less points, but it gives you the general idea of the shape. One thing to note with cardioids is uh, with them being the same value, you'll always have that bendy point, usually somewhere in the middle, sometimes at the start, just depending on the problem. Or, or somewhere in the middle, depending on the problem. But the farthest point away from the pole is usually these two numbers added together. So it's four away from the pole. Uh, let's look at this next one. Here we have another thing where there's one minus three cosine of theta. So it's going to be a similar situation as up here. But we're going to note what the uh, differences in these numbers are. I see that A is less than B, which looks like it's going to be a limnoscone with an inner loop. So that's something to keep in mind. It's going to be one of these shapes similar to the cardioid, but it's going to create this big loop in the middle of the shape and then keep going. But let's see how it's oriented based on the period of cosine, which is 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to use the same exact angles as this one. And then we'll just find those values. So 1 minus 3 times cosine of 0, which is 1 gives me negative 2. Then 1 minus 3 times cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. So 3 times 0, so that gives me 1. And then 1 minus 3 times cosine of pi, which is negative 1. That gives me 4. And then 
1 minus 3 times cosine of 3 pi over 2, which is 0. Give me 1 again. And 1 minus 3 times cosine of 2 pi is 1. Give me negative 2. So I go to plot this at 0. Oh, I should have written this down. I need to identify it. So this was a cardioid. And this was a limason with an inner loop. So 0 and the radius of negative 2. Negative 2. So instead of going right 2, it's going to go back 2. And then we have pi over 2, 1. And then we have pi 4, so pi is over here and it's at 4. 3 pi over 2, 1, so 3 pi over 2 is down here, 1. And then 2 pi, negative 2, so back to that point. So one thing to keep in mind is it starts negative, so our radii, as I go from 0 to pi over 2, even these angles in the middle here, have negative radii, but we'll have to pass through zero before it gets to one. So I'll start at this point, and I'm going to start by rotating this way, because I'll have negative radii coming from that side. And I'll go through the pole, then I'll go through that point at one. Then I'll go through the point at four, so I'll keep looping. Then I'll go through one again. And then from 1 to negative 2, I'll be positive for a moment, but then I have these negative radii leading up to that point. So I'll go through the pole again to get back. Which leads to that, let's go with that inner loop again. But it's right there this time. I'll try to make it really thick so you can definitely see that loop. Now lastly, we have r is equal to 4 sine of 4 theta. So right now with there being no plus sign, I, it's either going to be a circle or some sort of rows. And since I have a different period than just like theta, then I know I'm dealing with a rose with an even number of petals since I have an even number next to theta. So this will be a rose with double that number. So if it's 2n, it's 4n petals. So if this is 4 times 2 is with 8 petals. Now when I go to find points for this graph, I'm going to use the period of sine, which is 2 pi over 4, so pi over 2. And then I'll find uh, points in between this, which will be pi over 4 is right in the middle. And then I'll put pi over 8 between those two, and 3 pi over 8, which is between those two. Now, 4 times sine of uh, 0 would be 0. 4 times sine of 4 pi over 8, which is pi over 2, would be 1. So 4 times 1 gives me 4. Then 4 times sine of 4 pi over 4, which is pi, gives me another 0. And then 4 times sine of what looks like 12 pi over 8, which is 3 pi over 2, which is negative 1. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, so it gives me a total of negative 4. And then 4 times sine of 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi, gives me another 0. Sine of 2 pi is 0. And what's nice is this will give me that first quadrant, but it's going to repeat these values every cycle. So the next cycle would start at pi over 2 and go to pi following the same values, then go from pi to 3 pi over 2, and then 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, and repeat these cycle of numbers four times. So keep that in mind. So I have pi over 4 here, and then halfway in between, that would be my pi over 8, and my 3 pi over 8 between those two, and pi over 2. This would be 0. So you're going to notice that I'll start with this one, then I'm going to repeat the same pattern until I create these eight petals. So it starts out at zero, 
Then at pi over 8, it goes out to 4. So this is 4. Then back to 0. And it goes to negative 4. So this point would actually go opposite of that. So negative 4 away from 3 pi over 8. Then back to 0. So if I were to sketch this, it would go out to this point, come back to 0, then out to this point, and then back to 0. That's the first cycle. Now from pi over 2 to pi. So I'll note my little spots. I'm not going to worry so much about uh, what the, the uh, angles are. It's just going to follow the same pattern, same distance. So 0 at pi over 2. Then at the next one, this spot is at 4, positive 4. Then back to 0. Then at this spot, it would be at negative 4. And then back to 0 for pi. So drawing that out from here, it's coming from this side. It goes out to that spot again. Bounces back through goes out again and then back through and we repeat the same process so again we'll have our halfway through then halfway between both of those down to 3 pi over 2 and again after pi is at 0 then the next mark would be at 4 so 1 2 3 4 then back to 0 then this next mark will be at negative 4, so out here, and then back to 0. So again, pi is here, then it comes out to this point, back in, back out, back in. And we'll do it one more time from 3 pi over 2 all the way to 2 pi, which is where that 0 mark is. So again, 3 pi over 2 is 0, the next tick mark. What happens between these two is that positive 4, then 0 for this mark, and then this mark goes to negative 4, and then back to 0 again to finish out the full cycle all the way around for 2 pi. So it goes from this part here out to the 0, back in, out to the 0, back in and there's our rose petal rose with eight petals and you'll see here the roses reach out to four for each of those petals and that's how you recognize a polar graph and sketch quickly